Welcome back, everybody. This is episode two of the Road to SSL with Zero Mechanic series, where I show you guys how I would rank up from the perspective of a top 0.1% one percent rocket league coach if you're new here i'm peak gc3 myself but i also run the grand champ roadmap which is a live six-week coaching program with now over a thousand players involved uh where we specialize in taking plats diamonds and champs up to grand champ in just six weeks or less at the time i'm dropping this we'll have less than 10 days left of enrollment and probably less than 10 spots left so if you want to get involved before we sell out and go on pause until december dm my discord with the keyword gold and we can talk details about coaching links down below otherwise enjoy the video all right welcome back back everybody we're in episode two it's time to take on some plats we're currently 8 10 mmr i think that's plat one I think that's plat one plat two plat three some people are saying plat two all right so we're 810 we got two 600 mm we got 600 mmr on the opposing team we got 553 on us seems like oh we're just in okay it's time we're gonna continue doing the front flip kickoff because i i feel like that's fair immediately go for kickoff and then flip out and grab boost now here my teammate should be going but since he's not going i'm a little oh he, he went there I'm a little confused. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this guy miss. Now, if you have better mechanics, you can just jump up and hit that ball. But here, the key is just don't even don't even feel the need to go. Like, if if they're if they're pushing, just wait. Turn around. Wait, 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 wait. Here, I should probably get out of the play. I should let my teammate go. Uh, it looks like he has this. I'm rotating really wide, picking up boost, so that way the net's always in front of me. And if there's ever, like, a stall in the corner, I'm just turning back. So that way the ball's always in front of me when I'm ready to clear it there. This guy looks awkward, so I'm just going to do a simple aerial, put a shot on net. I think my teammate com oh, committed while I went, so... Oh, well. Ball goes up the wall. Once again, players are just going to hit it into the corner for no reason at this rank. So, like, just go get your corner boost, turn around... And then you're totally fine. Technically, what I should do here is I should drive forward, get in net. That way, I can save the ball going forward. But at my rank, I kind of just shadow there. So here, my teammate's going to hit it. Notice how my first touch is going to be on an angle here. And then when he comes, I can kind of cut it in. Now, I'm not fast enough there. Kind of get in his way, bump him. My teammate looks like he was going to miss. So I'm just going to stay next to the ball, just in case. But here, once again, ball's in the corner. What you don't want to do is what my teammate just did. You see that? Don't do that. Don't, like, just run in and die. There's no play to be had, so you just wait back. Here, I'm going to drive challenge, turn back, and grab boost. So I'm always ready in the back here. Here, I can get one touch up. And I'm watching him, watching him, watching him, waiting. Get a little pop. And that'll be a goal. The key there, like, is just timing, timing the bounce. Like, bounce dribbling is honestly one of the first things you should learn how to do, if you can. Luke, you're the realist. Thank you. All right, I'll cheat up here. The ball's high, and I'm going to assume you can't read that, so I'm just going to go all the way back in the net. Notice how I'm keeping the net in front of me. And if I was watching the play instead of showing you guys where I was in net, I would have saved that. But there's a chance a plat wouldn't make that save, right? But you really want to stay, like, back post. So that way, you know, like, you, you really don't want to creep up much farther at all so that it's always in front of you. Going to do the basic front flip into the front flip keep driving here i can take the boost and keep going a straight line because i see it the minute he makes a good touch i'm just gonna drive out and look for a demo i don't get it that's fine once again like while there's a bunch of chaos here i don't push up like it might look like you want to go but you just don't because you're the last man back here once again he's just flipping fake challenge drive challenge and we get a goal like the key here is like People are always panicking so much. So just slowly drive back, let them make the mistake, and then take the free ball. So many people just try to challenge. Just stop trying to challenge so much in plat, you know? Like, I don't know. That's that's my mentality. But maybe it's just because, like, I can read when they're missing. But it's, it's, it's really important that you just chill on defense and you start learning how to shadow. Because shadowing is honestly the best. Here he's going to hit the ball center. Simple front flip, staying back will work. Hold power slide to land and let my teammate go because this is a little bit awkward. Um, so I'm going to wait back here. He's coming. I'm going to wait till I get the up bounce, flip it forward, drive here and just look to get a good catch on the ball to make sure I drive it into the net. Notice how 
the, when the ball goes over me and we're in an awkward situation, I just turn off ball cam. I'm just assuming that this guy doesn't have the mechanics to be able to contest me, so I just turn off ball cam. At my rank, I would go for a shot. At the low ranks, just catch it. Just catch it and coast it in. I'll cheat up. Here, the ball's going to go high. I'm going to assume he might be faster, so I'm just going to go back, get corner boost, and wait. Watch his touch. He might have one. Wait, 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 wait. Just let him mess up. Hit it one to the left. I see him going, so I try to flip it to the right. If I was better, I should be able to clear that. Here, I'm just not going to panic and flip it to the side. Can a plat do that? You just have to slow down. I, d I don't know if a plat can do that. That might be unfair. Should I let them score? Should I let them score for that? Is that just in? Oh, we scored. <laughs> this guy said, well, that's some BS. Why are you challenging? <laughs> it's not BS. It's just not <laughs> oh, it's okay. Single front flip. Watch him. If I was faster, I'd go quicker. Here, he looks like he has the ball, so I'm just going to go back. Just go back and like look at how weak the shots they put on are. Here, I just want him to commit. Please commit. Just drive challenge. Wait till the ball comes center and boom it. Here, I see everybody up, so I'm just going to wait at half field. Like my rule if you're low ranked is just wait at half field. Just do not push up. There's just no reason to. Just chill. Because a lot of the time the ball's going to come center, it's going to clear it over. There they're just gonna hit into your corner and notice so just wait half field wait back if there's just chaos going on and my teammates not back like <laughs> you see i just wait in that and they just go back for boost and just completely alleviate the pressure now here you should contest i i, I should have drive forward and uh, contested if, if they get close enough you should just go challenge here i don't know if a plat would be able to read that you should just drive in a straight line and just take them out rogue text asked do you use your joystick to drive forward yes i use rizzo's control so it's wacky my joystick controls all my all my movement. Here we're cheating up. Just because I'm cheating up, I'm gonna get a free goal. If you're low rank, cheat. If you're low rank, cheat. Almost always. Honestly, if you're high rank too. The the only time you really shouldn't cheat is if you have um if you have a teammate who's intentionally gonna lose the kickoff. Otherwise, getting boost is not 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 worth it. Yo, comp, welcome to the chat. Good to have you, brother. Alright, so we're gonna get a good 50 50 I accidentally bumped my teammate and this is like speculative so once again we're just chilling back like until my teammate gets back I'm not allowed to go in like this is the rule of 2v2 while my teammate does circles there I have to stay back here and wait for him they hit ball into my corner awesome thank you for hitting ball into my corner let me just grab boost and take the ball in a straight line can I go for some aerial mechanics I'm getting kind of bored clearly the answer is no Okay, we're going to reset and pretend that didn't happen. Cut that out. I'm, I'm going to play back post here. And while my teammate's up, not allowed to go. Just doing my thing. Practicing my wave dashes. Half, practicing my half flip. Corner read. I can get it. No. <laughs> so game one's done. Take home lessons are wait back. While your teammate is up, just do donuts in the middle and uh, let them toss ball at midfield. Because most likely, they're plat, they're just going to drive it into your corner. So just let them drive it into your corner and just control your boost. You're vibing. On to game two. Game two, we're 852. So we picked up 42 MMR from winning that game. So they're, they're, they're giving me a ton of MMR, but we're still playing golds, I think. We're still basically playing golds. Oh, wait. Do I have a teammate? Oh, I do. Okay. Sing simple front flip. Simple front flip. Now, the minute kickoff happens, I'm going to go opposite corner, opposite boost, pick it up. And this guy's AFK. This guy watched the new video. Oh, he's back! <laughs> A little too late. <laughs> oh, wait, is he back? He was AFK on that kickoff too. <gasps> Brother. Okay, so the ball might take a weird bounce. Notice how I'm just going to go back to the net and w and, and watch the net. Here, I'm watching to see what he does and just waiting back. I, my teammate's probably going to challenge because it's on the goal line. I'm going to grab that boost from him. I'm just going to wait back. Now, realistically, I could be center here. If my teammate would go back, I could go. But since he's not back, I'm not going to go. Since they're just going to keep hitting it, simple half flip. Notice how I come all the way around the net so that way I can get to the ball in time. Notice the wide rotation. 
Here, I'm going to wait back. My teammate's still up, so I'm just not going to go. They're not going to put good shots on net at gold. So I just wait for it to come to me. Get a simple clear. Driving a straight line. Rawr. Now, something you may have noticed there that I kind of did instinctually was it was kind of a speed flip. Like, I flipped diagonally. Um, it's a little mechanical, but I think you could do that in gold. Oh, that was a cheat kickoff. Okay, I'm good. I lost. Good thing I lost that. Notice how if the ball goes to the corner, like my reaction on the kickoff is just instantly go back post, get back boost. This is close enough to the net that I have to jump. I don't want to, but I kind of have to. And once again, notice how my teammate's ball chasing, so we just wait. We're just waiting at midfield. We just wait here. Just don't go. Don't go until it's completely clean. I get one pop up and then a double jump. All right, we'll go for this kickoff. This guy, oh, this guy said nice shot. People are so much nicer at the low ranks. Everyone's so much nicer. Okay, notice how ball's in the corner. The read might be hard for a gold player, so I'm just going to back up, get to the back post, and now everything is easy. Every It's not in. Every save is easy. It's hard to know that that's not in. We kind of just have to know. Comes from ours. And notice how everything's easy when you're back here. Watch his touch. I'm going to go wide around, wait back post so I can see everybody upfield. And then it's easy. He might go off the wall, so I'm just going to wait. There's a threat that he might hit it, so I'll just go back. Wait till my teammate gets free. This is going to bounce up. Jump, but realize that you can't get the aerial, so then you just go back. And once again, my teammate's back. I'm going to let him go. I always, You always want to be behind your solo queue teammate. You never want to be in front of him. Roughly speaking. Here I see the ball's coming hard off the wall. If I can read this, I can get a little beat. And now I just pass to my teammate. My teammate has an open. Oh. Shouldn't have said those words. <laughs> ball comes perfectly to the center. Watch how my first hit's going to be over to the right. If I'm faster, I could cut it back in. But if you're not fast, you can't. Here, just wait way back. Teammate centers it. But he's pushed up too far. It's okay. Give him some time to get back. Oh, is my teammate peeking? Teammate's insane. Wait at half field because there's randomness going on in the corner. I could be pushed up farther and ready for that, but eh, I don't know. Fake like you're going to go for the ball, but the read's kind of hard. So just come down off the wall. And he hits it over. Great. Now I just sit behind my teammate and I watch that. They once again hit it into my corner. You can't cut that in. He's not mechanical enough. A single single jump 50-50 and then just drive it in a straight line. If you're faster, you should score that once again, but it doesn't really matter. We're winning 3-0. I'll watch his boom. My teammate looks like he wants to cut it off. It's terrible to cut that off there because he just passed it to him, but it's fine. I'll just wait in that. Simple save. And I'm, well, I'm going to try to track it down. He's just waiting on his corner boost. Okay. Once again, ball's going to come to me. Single jump. Wave dash down. I don't know if you can wave dash down there. What is my... <laughs> it's okay. All right. Refocus. Refocus. Where was I? Back post. Right. So we're just going to chill back here and just practice our wave dashes and half flips. That's what you want to make sure you're doing. If the play's ever moving too slow, one of the most important things to do is to practice your wave dashes. Back here. You want to practice them... Into the back of the... <clears throat> you guys see that? You can't teach that. There's nothing to teach there. That's just... That's God-given. What can I say? <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay, never mind. Game two! Yes! Are we learning? Is this product? Are we learning, chat? Yo, guys, if you want to be the first notified when I go live so you can catch these streams in real time, go follow my Instagram. It's just Spook Luke Graham. I post updates when I'm going live, and I also just drop the best moments from these videos and from the streams uh, over there. So, yeah, go follow Spook Luke Graham. I'll have it linked down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll, I'll catch you in uh, episode three. All right, final game. Game three, episode two, where six of 10 placement matches, 891 MMR. All right, we got 
two guys, 643, seven, 700 MMR. It's the Rao McKean and Panther Killer. All right, so we're going to take corner boost here. That's probably shouldn't do that. It's probably mean, but I, you know, I'm just going back post. I need it. And I'm going to make sure I get under the ball to like flip it, flip it up, you know? Once again, wait by my teammate. Let my teammate be the one that's diving into the corners. It looks like he wants to go back, so... Oh, no, he wants to go forward. I overestimated him. And now it's free in the middle, but... Can't go because my teammate's going. Once again, I want to go here. I'm going to wait for the bounce. Get a simple flip. Wait for the bounce. Get a simple flip. Like, if you just hit the ball above the net, they probably can't read it, you know? At this rank. These guys are, these guys are gold, so just hit it high. So much easier for us to read on offense. Wait for the bounce, always. Make it easy on yourself. So I'm surprised at how many kickoffs I'm winning, just driving straight into the ball. Great, good touch by my teammate, actually. I can grab corner boost, and is that in? My, I was not expecting that. Okay, 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 I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm focused. Cheat up. Ball's gonna come to the right here. I'm gonna make one soft touch forward and then go for a shot instantly. He splits it up, which is nice by him. I can look for a demo, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get it. He hits the ball high and over. I'll turn, because he was going back for corner boost. And I wanna go, but they're up the whole time, so. It's tough for me to go. There, I'm just double jumping, blocking the angle. Get around here. If you're good at dribbling, you could probably score that. I'm not good at dribbling, though, so I can't. I wanna hit the ball into the corner and grab corner boost. My Yes, my teammate did exactly what you should do there. I'm proud of you. Good job, Jally. Proud of you. You did what you should do. Here, just wait for the ball to come center, and then it's free. Oh! You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Chat. Not a word. Just cut that out. Cut that whole play out. Me trying to compensate with mechanics at the end, cut all cut all that out. <laughs> no, it's my fault. I'm, this guy said it was his fault. Just keep flipping. 50 machine. Focusing on the catches there. This is kind of instinct, but whenever the ball goes over your head, I'm just like, you really want to get in the habit of turning off ball cam. Other like the the golden rules like ball cam always on unless it's directly over your head at the lower ranks. That'll give you really far. Speed up. I should be able to get the side boost. That's the most important thing there, and the rest is less important. I I shouldn't center the ball there. If you have better mechanics, you can half flip and just control it. And take the boost quicker. What you should do is you should turn around that ball really quickly and like power slide around after. You should grab corner side boost, power slide around quickly, but it is what it is. It totally beat on kickoff. This guy's got fast kickoffs. So here I'll push up. It looks like he might boom it, so I'm just going to be careful. Get one soft touch up, jump, and that works, but don't don't be that guy. Why, why did my teammate go here? One soft touch up. I got goal credit though. Haters. All right, I'll cheat up. Or not cheat up, go for the ball. So here the ball's coming center. I'm gonna try to time a double jump to save it just cause I don't trust my teammate. And here I'm just waiting back cause my teammate's gonna go for boost. I'm just gonna wait until I can get a high clear. Go to the side, grab some boost. Look for my teammate. I want a challenge here. Turn around, but my teammate's not going. Wait till he pushes up, get a hit over, and go around. If you have better control, you can like hit it around them there, but I don't know how my teammate missed that. But that's why you want to be back post and not be in the net. Because then you don't, there's no timing. You don't have to time the ball if you're attacking it from the same side it's at. Or attacking it from the same axis, X, Y axis. I don't know. Oh, ball comes to me. Double tap time. Oh. Okay, cut that out too. I'm getting bored. I'm sorry. This is game three. Okay, I'm going to play back here. Back post. Wait till... Ball comes center. Nope. My teammates are running it down the corner. 
You do you. I'm just drive challenging there to make sure that I don't overcommit and it doesn't. And nothing bad happens. Just keep timing my flips, make it nice and easy. Just wait back, let them go. If they're showing that they might go, you wait back. If there's like any chance that I might commit and it might 50-50 and my teammates behind me, I'm just not taking the 50-50 because I want to be the one back. Like that's the solo queue mentality you want to have in twos. Great touch by my teammate. Gives me time to go get boost. I can rotate back post. And once again, things move slow at this rank, so just chill in your back corner. Just wait till it's so obvious what you should do and then go. You know? And then all of a sudden, the ball's just sitting center and you have an open. That's kind of hard to read, but like, I feel like you should be able to. The key is like, I'm way, I'm so far back that, you know, it's not too hard. Jally says he's got it. I was scared, so I backed up there. You should just cheat. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, so here are my teammates behind. I'm just gonna wait. There's no threat to any of their touches here. So there's no, there's no even reason to go. Here, I'm gonna take a touch to the right. Touch here, cut it in. Almost get a goal just driving. Oh, the ball's back center, so I'm gonna turn around and wait. Okay, nothing. Go back to half. Pick up boost and wait back. Just get all the way back. Let him just hit it into my corner. They're not gonna get anything out of it. People will just pummel the ball into your corner if you let them, which is great, because as long as you're just chill, you should be able to control. I'm gonna leave this boost for my teammate. And these guys are awkward. I could beat them there, but it's kind of speculative whether or not it'd be a 100% beat. So I'm just gonna get like a little 50 and just wait back. So now I have a free, free open. Especially when you're shadowing and like you're at the midfield, just get like soft touches. Your goal is not to send the ball necessarily back up field with the most power. It's just to get possession back for your team. You're just trying to win possession for your team while you shadow. And it works. Kickoffs aren't great here, but I should be able to beat them both to boost. My teammate looks like he's not going, so I'm just going to clear it. And that is the game. What do we think, chat? Three games. We're pushing through plat. We picked up 891 plus 39. We picked up 140 MMR, 120 MMR. Picked up 40 MMR, three games in a row, man. Takeaways for breaking out of gold. I mean, wait back post. Let your teammate go up. Make the saves easy on yourself by always like getting a running start at the save. Like just never be in, never be under the ball, right? If I'm ever under the ball, it's probably because I'm about to score. In which case, I'm catching the ball to go drive it into the net because I have an open. That's that, that's the moral of the story. I'll catch you all in platinum. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.